Hey guys, it's Brandy. So today I thought I would share with you how to make this five different Easter egg ideas. I'm gonna be working with the five egg shells. Just made a whole like empty them and then just watch them. And I would actually suggest you to have more because two of my egg shells broke when they were fully decorated. So I have to remake those two. But anyways, that's fun. For this first sponge painted Easter egg, we're gonna be using this vintage white acrylic paint and I'm just gonna paint the whole thing. Then I'm going to be using all these colors, acrylic paints, yellow, pink, purple, and teal. Just love that one. And my vintage white. And this like palette thing to just mix all those colors because I'm going to be making them lighter. So I'm just going to be adding a drop or two of the colors themselves and then a drop of like my vintage white until it's lighter. Yeah, I'm just going to be then taking my sponge. This is a really old makeup sponge by the way. I'm just going to be cutting it in four. And then I'm pretty much going to be covering the whole thing with this sponge going all over the place being really random where I place my colors overlapping them until it's pretty much covered and I'm going to let dry. Then for my sparkly gold one, I'm going to be first using my gold acrylic paint, my brush, and I'm going to be covering this. Then I'm going to be taking my gold glitters and some glue and my brush. And first I'm going to be applying one coat of my glue, a school one, covering the whole thing in glitter. And to let dry, I'm going to be using a barbecue stick and I'm just going to let it dry in a piece of like block of foam. For my Easter egg that has like a gold foil effect on it, painting my eggshell with my teal, going with another makeup sponge and with this other gold acrylic paint, I'm just going to be doing this movement, like uh, not covering the whole thing, but just certain points and just going back and forth until you're pretty much happy with how it looks. It's actually really easy, guys. And then for my dripping gold, this one is actually really easy and really cute. I'm just going to be painting another eggshell with my teal one. And I'm just going to grab my gold acrylic paint bottle, but from like above. Just make sure it's just like far enough so you get this effect of like thread even. And just move your hand around so it falls all over the place. And just I'm going to be covering the whole thing. Really easy to do. Just make sure your paint is not like too close to it because if it's too close to it this may happen to you then last but not least my easter dots using this big dotting tool that i just made give this video a thumbs up if you want a diy of this doing the same thing as for the colors go making them lighter pretty much placing my dots all over the place working with each color at a time and then just cleaning my dotting tool in between colors and then i ended up making slider green with this green and like the same white that i did before and i feel like it was missing that i think it looks better with the green dots to style them i use some twine and just place them on top of that but yeah i just want to share the five ideas with you i love how different they are from one another but how they complement each other if that makes sense but yeah i really like all of them and hopefully you like them too if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up check out more diys at home and channel subscribe for more let me know what you think of this one and share this thank you so much for watching i'll talk to you later and take care bye and i hope you like it yeah bye